So hi, it's Isabel, and as you can see, or maybe not, it is raining outside. And and it's raining, what better thing to do than make a talking video? So today's not going to be about hair or makeup, but it's going to be more about stuff like embarrassing moments at school. Embarrassing moments, I mean, everyone has them, they're funny, they're silly, and I tend to have quite a lot. So today I just wanted to talk about it. Also, I want to make more of these talking videos, so if you like these things, leave a comment, let me know. Okay. okay, so the first story goes way, way, way back, back into preschool, when I was six or seven years old. <laughs> it was my first time in America, I just moved there. I was this little Asian girl with a bull haircut, not knowing what the hell is going on. I'm like, who are all these people? What? And I went to preschool, it was my first day, and I did not know, I barely knew any English. So you can imagine quite a hard situation, little girl doesn't know the language, can't talk to anyone. And the preschool there was huge. I don't know how they made a preschool that big. There was this little play area indoors where there was a slide and there was this little couchy cushiony thing. So basically it was a Chuck E. Cheese. It was a Chuck E. Cheese adapted as a school. So at this Chuck E. Cheese school, the first day, it was going okay. I just had a little snack, some goldfish, and then playtime came around. Playtime! And playtime is just when the teachers let go of the children, let them run cocoa and crazy. So I blew my nose and I had a tissue. And this tissue, I didn't know where to throw away. I knew that I needed a trash can and I told you I didn't know any English. So in Korean, trash can is 쓰레기통. And in English, a trash can is called a trash can. I did not know that. And holding this piece of tissue in my hand, I was terrified. And I was like, oh my god, if I don't throw this away, I'm gonna be the dirty girl. I'm gonna, everyone's gonna hate me. What the hell's gonna, whoa, no. So I was just compelled. I was like, oh, if I don't throw this away, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just get like, boom, out of preschool. You don't belong here. So I was terrified. So I ran up to my teacher. I was basically crying. And I was like, where? Where's the... I couldn't think of the word. I was like, where's the... Sreggy Tong? And then my teacher's like, what's wrong, sweetie? What? Where's the what? And I'm just like, Sreggy Tong! And then I fall crying <laughs> on my knees, just sobbing. You couldn't imagine little me crying my eyes out because I don't know how to say the word trash can. Next story. It was when I was in first grade. Oh, the first grade. Um... I was in the bathroom, as usual, in first grade, and I was doing my business when suddenly dee, 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 alarm rings, and it's the fire alarm. And yes, it happened to me. Every, there's always that one kid that asks, what happens if the fire alarm rings and you're in the bathroom? Well, I was in the bathroom, and I panicked again, like any little kid would do. Immediately, like, boom, outside in the room, there's a huge fire, everyone's burning right now. I can't open the door because I'm gonna die because all the flames are gonna fly into my eyes. Of course, so of course I can get out of the bathroom. So, so what better thing to do to escape than finding an opening? And at this point, I have to tell you, I just saw Finding Nemo. <laughs> yeah, I it was uh, in the toilet. I needed to get out. Of course, I don't want to burn to death. So I, <laughs> so I become Nemo and I squish myself into the hole inside the bathroom, which I didn't use yet, which I didn't use yet, so calm down, don't worry, it's not that bad. Of course, with my, but my pants were down my ankles and I was just squishing myself inside the toilet being like, I want to live! And about 15 minutes later, they opened the door, they found me like, ah! and that was my first grade story. So, okay, last story. The last story is very recent. It's in my 8th grade year. Yay! And it was P.E. time. And now that's where the story goes wrong. It's P.E. time. What could go right in P.E. time? And we're doing martial arts. I don't know why. I still don't know why. I mean, of course, it's gonna be beneficial for me one day. But why are we doing martial arts? So, in martial arts, of course, you fall a lot. You... So, we had these giant silver mats. Giant, squishy, bouncy silver mats lying around in the giant gym, just plump, 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 and they were calling for me. And when you see a giant silver mat that's basically like this high, double this, triple this, it's a giant trampoline. And when you see a giant trampoline, you just don't look at it. You don't just 
stare at it. You go, you run, and you jump on it. And that's what I was compelled to do. Okay, newsflash, five minutes earlier, teacher, don't jump on the mattresses. Five minutes later, but you Let's jump on the mattresses. Great idea, eh? I sprint so fast. I run, I run, I run, and I take the leap. And when I land on one gracious foot, I land on the edge of the mattress and <laughs> of course, yeah, I slipped on the corner of the mattress, making me do an actual 180 and fall on my head, like this, <laughs> upside down. So if someone filled me there, I could actually go to the funny fails. I would, what the hell, the funny fails or like this vine, I could go there, I could be a best vine if someone filmed that. But unfortunately no one did and it was my personal embarrassing moment and Okay, good thing, good news is that I didn't get hurt, I didn't die, wow, impressive. Bad news, the sound of a girl screaming and bumping her head on the ground sort of attracts people's attention, you know, just a little bit. So everyone was staring, <laughs> including the teacher, who slowly walks by and comes and says, that's a bad example. So yeah, that was my embarrassing stories throughout school. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot more left and I'll have a lot more to say later. <laughs> I wanna know any of your embarrassing stories <laughs> down below in the comment section. And also I wanna know if you like these talking videos because I actually enjoy making this. This is sort of fun. So if you guys enjoy it, of course, I'm, I'm thrilled to do it. So yeah, let me know. Um, thank you for watching. I hope the weather gets better. Whenever it's spring, I'll film one of these. That's a good deal, isn't it? Okay, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!